Well, we were talking about how close the race was, and it was until he jumped, and it's now 42 seconds between him and the rest. Look at his response. What a moment for the 18-year-old. This is the man who thought he might have had the lead in his pocket. Gefreda of Austria. 92 metres up to that point was the biggest jump of the day. And he was uh, just ahead of a uh, whole gaggle. And we're interested to see how that plays out. He's 42 seconds behind uh, Roger, but there are an awful lot of athletes clumped together behind him and they can work together I guess to try and bring down that deficit third place Gavama of uh, Norway just five seconds behind Gefrera 88 metres quite a lot of points for uh, wind compensation which just uh, edged him a second ahead of Jonas Fischbacher so that's the first three but we have a big field 49 are slated to start this course is a good one they like it they don't like the conditions but they like the course for sure there's all the timings up on the board, just in case the high-tech stuff doesn't work. We can go back to a stopwatch. Thanks to our technical team, who've done a great job in difficult conditions. It's still pouring with rain, you know. Cold and damp. You don't mind if it's uh, cold and full of snow in the sky. That's something a bit different. The, uh, the wind has calmed down a wee bit, but it's not going to be nice. They're all in there waterproof to the last possible moment. So an exciting race in the women. That was just, uh, I say just, that's, that's probably not the right word. It was short at 5k. This is going to be a 10k race. The women were fantastic, and goodness me, didn't Ninja Koronen on a burst in the last uh, stages of the race to get ahead of Alexa Brabeck. Can we have the same kind of uh, race? The drama, of course, to uh, a lot of, of Slovenia was leading by quite some distance, but, but was disqualified and just had to stop punching the snow in frustration. Getting darker. We've got ski jumping later on, the team competition. But we've got lights there. We should be fine here, even though it's not the. Uh, yeah. I don't know, sir. I'd, I'd use your hood if I were you. It does, uh, does play havoc with your hairstyle, though. I, I feel your pain there. Swedish Norwegians, they're out in force, of course. But uh, at the moment, Austria 1 and 2. Fischbacher in fourth as well, Germany fifth and uh, seventh. There are nine within a minute of our leader, and here he is. Paul Walscher of uh, Austria is the man who picked everybody to the post, the man from the Ramsau club. And there he is. Vera, the Austrian, I don't think he's going to be too disheartened. He will get the afterburners on, as will Kivano. Those are the three, and here come the rest. There will be a chasing group chasing down Vulture. They want to just get on with this now, now that they're out and ready. A couple of minutes before we get to quarter past three local time. 
Who wants it most? It's going to be difficult out there. The conditions are slow and slushy. So, Navora, there he nearly come a cropper in that first uh, lap. And, uh, well, that, uh, that chasing group, anybody within the first minute will be, I think, looking to be in that chasing group and making a move at some stage. Perhaps together they can work to haul in for Volcha. Some at the back will be looking to get into the top 10. It's a long way, but they got double the distance of the women. Same back at almost three minutes, and there are some athletes here who will be three minutes behind. Going away, but three minutes and three minutes ten in Karamak of the United States, and a couple of Kazakhstan athletes will be uh, bringing up the rear. ready to go here the clock is ticking down we've got about five seconds i reckon on my watch before we get underway here there is the hooter now ready for Walcher to get underway he has the 42 second advantage after that wonderful jump earlier on of 92 and a half meters that uh, put a wedge between him and the rest and he will look to get away two sweeps the others well it's an agonizing wait isn't it the Ferrer of austria vama of uh, norway fischbacher grabert and kapustik all within a minute but it's every second it's a painful one when you are having to hang on here. Away they go, the chasing group with intent. Kapustuk is gone, Stencil can go. Alongside him is Yamazaki, both at the same time. There we get Storzvin as well. Now Tristan Sommerveld, the man who got the gold medal with his German teammates, he's away as well. Just over a minute behind Volcha. Kenuma of Japan. He goes. Call uh, Konvalinka of the Czech Republic. Now, some of these athletes will have the ability to get really close. Rubiel of Poland wearing 20 is gone. Sinona will have to wait a little bit longer. He goes. Hansi Vreschel of Slovenia will get a big cheer as he goes. The man from the Mislinia club here in Slovenia. And there's a little bit more of time on the screen as you'd expect for all the locals to give a big cheer to. Here is our leader. Valsha going up that hill. Remember, they go out of the uh, stadium. Then the big climb of about 34 meters. Total climb about 80 meters. And as soon as they come out, they turn uh, left and up the hill. And towards the stadium, the second hill is where we saw in the women's race, Koronen make her move in the second and final lap. Wait for it. <laughs> And they're away. Chiloda and Janha, Ukraine and Slovenia. And uh, as I say, some of these athletes going at three minutes and ten behind the leader. That's such. Some of these athletes, of course, will be stronger. 
As we see Zayek of Slovenia heading off. He'll get a little bit more support around this course. But even the leader, Paul Vulture, heading towards the first of our markers at uh, one and a quarter kilometers. So the clock starts ticking. Remember, it was 42 seconds last time. And the only time we knew the gap between them, of course, at the start. And here they come. Rivera. Rivera is uh, working hard there. Can he nip a little bit back in terms of the time? Up this steep hill they go as they head into the forest section. And uh, I don't think at the moment they're making much headway. 42 seconds. I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. And they're still coming, aren't they? And uh, the first uh, few through in that uh, group, Gefera, Kazvani, Fischbacher, and uh, Greber, all in the same order. But Tristan Somerville has come from 10th into 6th place. So he has made up some good uh, good time. 10 seconds on the leader for sure. And uh, although he'll we'll be interested in the group in front of him, it's the leader he'll want to know about. And the uh, coaches and the support staff will be letting them know what the splits are. They'll have the information and they will pass that on. Gershaw. All the way back, the uh, Slovenian. And the Slovenia club uh, coming out in a minute to come through this uh, timing beam. You can see him at the back making his way through. So, to Nona, that was Kutia. Through goes uh, Martin of France. Not far behind is Prian, his uh, teammate. They'll be working together for sure. Here comes uh, Bessel. And he will find himself going backwards a little bit, if truth be told. He started a little further up. And he's dropped from 22nd down a wee bit. to 27th place for the Slovenian. This is the man at the front. Quarter of the way, almost done. In super quick time, he's looking good. He's extended his lead and on that first lap. Can he do the same here? You've got to pace yourself. It's gonna sap your legs this course. It's a tricky one. It's uh, not icy, it's not fast. It's a slog. Gliding's not gonna get you very far comes through the timing beam 6061 is what we're seeing there and this is that little rise steep rise and then a drop back down again towards the end the uh, stadium section and it is Sommerfeld who's leading that uh, chasing group Vane is there or thereabouts. Good for Richard Stenzel, the German as well, tucked in in uh, that third place in that chasing group, fourth place overall. Uh, well, they have knocked any time off in the last uh, half a lap. They're in a race amongst themselves, but they're also obviously going to have to make sure they're hauling in Valcha. And, uh, well, they've, they've taken a second off in half a lap. They're going to have to go faster than that, but uh, as you can see, they're working together. They'll take turns at the front, and then a little less effort needed, but then you're tucked in behind. So the set of Norway coming through. Kinoma of Japan started uh, the day in 11th. Or all the athletes. Hello. 
So, one lap done. Three more to go, of course. And, uh, it's a long gap for these athletes coming through. Some will be able to make good distance. We've uh, seen Sommerfeld up four, Stencil up four. Fischbach has gone back uh, a place or two. Birgit Storsvin has come up. Grera, Grabert have uh, gone back with Grera from uh, second down into seventh. Good move from Lubin Mata. The uh, Frenchman has gone up to three. And it's still Vulture at the front. Still a long way to go in this race. And it is starting to open up a wee bit here. 37 coming through is Urban Zayak. Now a long way behind. Those at the back, number three minutes ten. This is the, the furthest behind that they started, but uh, some will have dropped back a wee bit more than that. Uh, as well, the likes of Skylar Amy, Eric Capius has gone down four places as well. He's what three or three and a half minutes behind. This is at the front though, and it is Vulture who's gone through at three and three quarter kilometers. Let's see what the gap is. Is it closing? There's a few being dropped off the back there, including Yamazaki and 17. Is Atsushi Narita, those two, the two Japanese having a bit of a torrid time there. But this is the group that's chasing. Birgit Storsvin has done well, he's come through. Sommerfeld just uh, tucking in behind. And here they come towards that timing beam. And then we can tell you whether they've, it's almost 50 seconds. 49.1 as they went through the stadium. Up the hill they go. In sync. Uh, it's, a, it's a longer longer gap, isn't it? They're close together, but is this just going to be a race for the silver and bronze at the World Championships? Because that is six seconds that Vulture has pulled out. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this pace up all the way through, but he looks in pretty good nick. This is the next chasing group. Selciet and Velinka are still there or thereabouts at the moment. Strom has gained a couple of places. But, uh, that group sticking together. And then, of course, the two Japanese athletes are over a minute and a half now behind our leader. Zaki started off 57 seconds behind, so struggling. There he is there, wearing eight, coming through. And it's going to be interesting to see if he's got to manoeuvre themselves into a challenge for the lead. Bergen has been leading us through at the moment. And from the Everham Hop Ski Club. It's a uh, bronze medal, of course, in the mixed team competition on Wednesday. And this is the steep, nasty turn that they have to take. Around to the right. And then they keep coming around. And also and look to make some inroads here. It is certainly where you can punish people. It is uh, Christian Silvelt who's coming through. But out on his own and halfway through this race, here comes Paul Walcher of Austria. He has been excellent so far, excellent jump. And from Ramsau, 
12 World Cup starts for him, starting under a year ago in Oslo. Didn't start in Seyfeld in the World Cup earlier this month, but he's saving himself for this, I'm sure. Let's keep an eye on the clock. It seems like they're starting to fall back a little bit. Yes. You see the Kavave and three tucked in behind the German Tristan Sommerfeld. And, uh, swing around. And let's see if they pull some of that time back. 54.8 the gap. And they have. They've taken a chunk out of Volcher there. With half of this race to go. Now it gets interesting. This is that little group just behind the main chasing group. So the sets coming through with uh, from the Lika as well. Over drop back a little bit. From the Lika was what a minute and 15 behind the leader when they set off some time ago now, but uh, spread around the course, they certainly are. Heading towards the quarter hour mark, out they go again. Looking for that timing beam. So 150 meters out from the start. Up the hill they go. Again, some will just be trying to keep in touch. Some will be trying to make some distance here. But this is the man. Is he tiring or can he keep going? Valcher, 40 odd seconds. When he, 42 seconds when he started. He really is looking good, isn't he? Missed out on a medal, fourth in the mixed team. Disappointed about that. And I want to be at least on the podium here. He's put down the hard work. Conditions not great. It is still pouring with rain. There's uh, Somerville. Leads the chasers. Fischbacher has come back into second place which means that Kovami is there and wearing nine Birgit Storzin well they'll all be happy to be there or thereabouts Gethera I think has got himself back where he'd like to be in touch with that chasing pack now then is he tiring Valsha goes through that uh, timing band at 6.25 meters and the clock can start ticking away. It's taking its toll. A little chance just to rest the legs, but not for long. Up out of uh, the stadium, away from the noise and the hustle and the bustle. Just the you can hear how slushy that snow is. And it's Kavame who is looking to bring these athletes through. Which is Stenzel in danger of dropping off that group. He's at the back wearing seven. Forty-three point eight. Definitely coming back in. Remember the lead at the start was forty-two. Now they're back almost to that it was Fischbacher who went through so it's Austria one and two at the moment this is the other group trying to keep in touch with that uh, leading chase group this group of four led through by uh, so you set they are a long way behind. It is that chasing group, this top eight, who have a chance to do something here. Mm -hmm. 
He's still out on his own. He's still doing his best to keep that uh, gap as big as he can. The longer and deeper he goes into this race, and the easier it's going to be. Almost, almost three quarters of the way through this race. Down he goes. It's difficult. Let's uh, see. A mistake in the women's race. Very nearly. Yeah. Total one for uh, in terms of the race pattern for Tia Malavora. She was uh, disqualified shortly afterwards. Got to be careful. It's uh, it's slippy. It's slushy. Now against Dorsvin, the uh, Norwegian. He's the man who is bringing uh, the rest of the pack through at the moment. They're taking their turns. The other them, hot man at the moment in the lead of the leading pack, so to speak, with uh, the aim. And time is starting to run out of bringing Paul Vulture in. Here he is. He's lapped a bat marker. Looking smooth. Goes through. And it'll be under 20 minutes. There we go. The clock will start. And Antolini. Uh, our two athletes who have been disqualified, by the way, not part of the uh, leading pack, like Tia Malodra was in the women's race. And some way behind, still coming up, that little rise before they head into the stadium complex. The uh, chasing six. Standing up, taking some time, I don't think they got enough time to catch up with Volcha, who's been excellent all the way through. I wonder whether they know that, and they're just saving their energy for the race for silver. Oh, they are a long way behind now, aren't they? That gap has lengthened again. It was just under 44 seconds at the last timing stop. It's almost 56 seconds. Kavami, Fischbacher, Bergen, Storsvin. Austria and Norway dominating the top four, but some of them may have something to say about that. Over the bridge and away they go again. Last lap then in this race. And this that uh, little pack just behind. I don't think they're going to be able to catch up with that other pack. So shot comes. So the set comes through strong. Konvalinka. They are working hard, but still a long way behind everybody else. It's uh, by the way, Grabert. Everyone who got dropped off the back of that group is a, it's a chasing group of six, not seven now. And it, it, it is. Uh, Jonathan Grebert of Germany, who has uh, just fallen away a little bit. Here's our leader. Not far to go now. Just uh, about to skip past the tiring Jakub Kalkalik of Slovakia. Good job, bravo. Well, that much I did understand. The rest of it, well, doesn't matter. They will be pleased. He has done so well here. Wasn't that the Youth Olympic Games? But the Vulture certainly is making up for that here. And here comes the chasing pack. Look at Storzvin, the uh, head of Stenzel. And behind him is Andreas Gefrera. And uh, it certainly is starting to play out here. And as the rain continues to come down, here comes the race for the other medals. Tristan Somerville has made a break for it. 
Kvame of Norway behind him. A little look over his shoulder. Volcha with not far to go. He's done enough surely now, barring a disaster to take the junior world title. Another little sh uh, look over the shoulder from Kavame. It's uh, lengthened out here, hasn't it? And look at how Somerville has gone. He has pushed hard in this last lap. He obviously felt not enough stamina to go after Vulture, but he certainly is moving now on this steep incline, the uh, steepest that there is on the two and a half kilometre lap. Well, they've uh, certainly pulled it down a little bit. 24 seconds. They've halved the difference almost in just half a lap. And I wonder whether Summerfelt has had a coach in his ear saying, go for it. You never know. Certainly going for silver, if nothing else. Kavame ahead of uh, Fischbacher. So Austria, Germany and Norway. This is the man at the front. He has almost done. He has been magnificent. He's just skipping past a bat marker in Aliaska. He's still got another lap to go. Into the stadium he'll come. One last little turn. And this man blew everyone away in the ski jumping. And he has kept an advantage here. It's a little too late for Tristan Somerville. It's been an excellent burst from him. And I think uh, Vulture has done enough to hang on in there. We'll see as he comes into the stadium complex. <laughs> That's one of our volunteers who's been politely asked to move out the way. This is Somerville. He's got a bit of work to do because Kavami's come back. Did he go too early? That's the question. And it's all getting a bit frantic. Round to the left they go. It's a little calmer at the front. Paul Vulture from Ramsau Club. 25 minutes of hard graft and it's about to pay dividends. Up and past the bat mark as he goes. This is the chase for silver and bronze. Got to be careful around here. Oh, very nearly a stumble from Somerville. He stays in front. Now, those arms will be burning. But this is the last little incline. It's a chance to show your strength, to show your dominance. Vulture has come through at the front and he is the junior world champion well done to Paul Valcher the 18 year old was brilliant and behind him well it was a right old battle until the end but Tristan Somerveld will take the silver and well done to Kavami of Norway not far behind and respect from these athletes particularly respect to Paul Vulture who did so well stayed ahead he was tiring in that last lap if there's another lap you wonder what might have happened but he timed it perfectly and in the end that chasing pack was stretched wasn't it a little bit further he started second comes in a little way down in the seventh place Meanwhile, Greber, who started fifth, has been dropped a little bit, but he is still going to finish in at uh, top ten. It's going to be eighth for him. What an excellent uh, race that was. Vulture dominant. Kavami, Stencil. And Somerville, of course, sorry, the man who came through in second place, Giovanni, couldn't quite win that little battle. Through comes uh, Strom of Norway. On the linker. And he's gained 
A couple of places. Good from Schoenfeld for Germany as well, from 16th up into 11th. And uh, well, leaked a bit of time from Vulture. But who didn't? <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Vulture with the win. The junior world champion. And inside the medals in the mixed team, fourth. The Austrian team, but uh, they've certainly made up for that. Austrian, not in the uh, top three for the women's competition, but uh, they've made up for it here. Here goes Atushi Narita. Didn't keep up with that chasing pack. And whilst others come through, the, uh, you can probably hear and see in the corner the top three are celebrating. We'll be hearing from them in a minute. There they are. What a magnificent backdrop, eh? <laughs> Hold on to your skis. A little uh, drop from Cavani, but uh, well, didn't they do ever so, ever so well? And uh, that picture, I suspect they get trying to place somewhere at home. And then Zuckerman of the United States in a little battle to come in in what 20th place. He's gonna win that particular battle. And every place matters, of course, overhauling Koyotaro Yamazaki. He dropped down from eighth to 21st. So the last uh, timing stop, some of uh, our athletes were six and a half minutes adrift in Karabakh, Luka Balan. And we'll still continue to come through. What was your strategy today? Just go as hard as I can and hope that uh, the rest of the guys uh, won't keep up, catch up to me. And I think I did a good job in, did, in it, and yeah, I'm really glad it worked out this way. Perfect. Can you repeat in German, please? Yeah, uh, also Hochdeutsch. Uh, es war ein wirklich Top-Rennen. Ich wollte einfach, dass die Gruppe hinter mir nicht aufschließt. Und ich glaube, das hat perfekt funktioniert und bin sehr stolz, dass es so funktioniert hat. Danke schön. Danke. Well, you've got to admire these athletes. They are fabulous uh, specimens, aren't they, on the cross-country course, really racing hard. Based congratulations, vice world champion today. How did you apprehend the race today? Yeah, uh, the jumping was difficult, uh, really difficult uh, conditions with the wind and the rain. And yeah, uh, I just tried to get into the group. Uh, and then I wanted to go to uh, Paul in the, in the front, but nobody, nobody helped in the group. Uh, so I decided to uh, yeah, uh, fight it out for the second place. Can you repeat in German? Yeah, it was a difficult weather today on the Schanze. Viel wind, viel regen. Dadurch war es uh, ja, nicht einfach. Dadurch war, hatte ich einen gewissen Rückstand, wollte auf die, auf die Gruppe vor mir aufschließen. Ja, und dann wollte ich zum Paul vor, hat aber keiner so richtig geholfen. Deswegen haben wir dann den Plan geändert und haben, es, äh, haben den zweiten Platz ausgekämpft. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Not only masters of uh, two Nordic disciplines, but also at least two languages as well. Lovely to hear. Them, give their thoughts as well. Vulture, wonderful Congrats moment for him. Today. How did you apprehend the race? Thank you. Oh, it was uh, difficult, difficult because we had uh, a lot of, uh, at least very in a very tight uh, time span. So I knew it was going to be a big, uh, a lot of people go, uh, going at the same time. And uh, it's kind of tricky in the middle because uh, nobody wanted to take the lead. So. When uh, uh, Fishbucket took the uh, initiative, we could just uh, uh, hang on and uh, it uh, held in. 
Ja. Det var vanskelig på å se på forkant, for det var veldig mange bak, tett bak. Så det ble et stort felt og veldig lurløp midtveis. Så da digg når en har åpnet rundt tilbake i sånne felt. Så jeg har åpnet trekket på slutt siste runden, og så har jeg egentlig bare prøvd å henge på, og så holdt jeg når resten slapp. Så kunne man seile inn til tredje plass. Takk, congratulations. Du er sånn på podium. Yeah, well done to all of those athletes. Well done to Sommerfeldt and Gavami who took on the challenge of perhaps just breaking away from that pack. It is Paul Vulture, who is the junior world champion. Congratulations to him and uh, to Sommerfeldt and Gavami who are on the podium as well. A very, very good race today.